All right, YouTube, what has happened? I got a new video for you today on the American Blade Works Model 1. Uh, this is the version 5. This is a pass around knife from Apex Pass Around, and I've had this for about 10 days, give or take some of it because of the holidays and such. So, this is version 5. Like I said, he's made lots of different versions of this knife, some improvements over time. Uh, a little background on the company American Blade, Night Blade Works is out of North Carolina. It's all CNC machine in-house, made in the USA. Um, it's a basic um, EDC size knife, guys, with a S35 VM blade and nice black and gray G10 handles. Now, if you go on the website, everything's sold out currently. These are pretty hot sellers because they sell for only 185 bucks, which is, in my opinion, one of the best values out there right now in knives, period. You know, it's saying a lot, but for a knife made in the US in small batches, Pretty much, not really a custom, but like, you know, it's you know, kind of like when uh, Grimsmill came out and they CNC machine all their knives, same idea. And they're way <laughs> worth a lot more money now. So I'm telling you, I could see this happening for this uh, American Blade Work as well. Them just increasing in price over time. Maybe not to the extent of Grimsmill, but. So you have G10 handles, titanium liner lock uh, on bearings. Really nice flipper action on that. They, on version five, he did update the flipper tab. Made it a little bit smaller. Um, and then they changed the pocket clip a little bit. It is a titanium, uh, pretty basic pocket clip. Now guys, there's nothing about this knife that's like super crazy or different, but it's just a good knife for, I've been using it for the last 10 days for everything EDC task and it's held up awesome. Um, here's some size comparisons. There's the pair of three. So it's a little bit bigger and they handle in a pair of three. Um, Strider SMG, which is one of my go-tos especially lately with the Mando version. How awesome was that episode, if you didn't see the last episode. Um, so pretty close in size to an SNG. How about a Hinder XM18? Really close, a little bit smaller. And the CQC7 by Emerson is also very comparable. So kind of a medium sized knife, really what I like to carry for EDC, so it's perfect for me. One of my favorite things about this knife, guys, it was 14 thousandths or 13 thousandths behind the edge. So it's very thin on the ground. You can see by that thin bevel, that's a good sign that it's not overly thick behind the edge. If you look at my reground pair of three, you'll see the same thing. A very, very, you can barely see on that. That one's 10 thousandths behind the edge. But if you look at like this uh, Emerson, it's going to be a lot thicker, much wider bevel. That's a good telltale now I you can I measured it with calipers which I don't have on me but it did measure about 13 to 14 thousandths behind the edge which so a really good slicer cuts really well um, G10 is nicely contoured the ergonomics of the knife are really good in the hand um, one thing I would like to see on version 6 I guess we'll call it is jimping right here not sure why there's not jimping there's jimping on the backspacer he did improve the backspacer on this model as well I forgot to mention um, something with how it screws into the G10 so there is a titanium backspacer. So, um, but I would like to see some jimping up here. There is a sharpening choil, which is fantastic. Always a good addition. Um, overall, just a great user knife. Made in the USA with good materials. I mean, titanium S35 for 185 bucks. I think mean, it's crazy. So if you look at his website, it's also a uh, big surprise, right? At that price point. <laughs> um, but I would definitely sign up for notifications for restock because I have. Um, he does G10, carbon fiber, and micarta. Some of those micarta ones, oh man, they look so good, and I'm excited to get my hands on one myself. So I 100% fully intent on buying this knife once once I can get on that wait list, or once they come back in stock, I'm gonna totally 100% buy one. I had over the, you know, about two weeks I used it, no issues whatsoever. Super comfortable ergonomic handle, very neutral handle design. There is a little bit of a hump right here in the back, which, is okay, it's not bad, um, feels good. It's kind of like, in a little bit, kind of, no, see that it has that humpback here in the pair of three, this is a skinny mod. Um, so I would kind of almost like to see a little bit more neutral handle, but it's really not bad. It's, it's not overly like contoured and hey, look at, you know, all these different ways you can, uh, these um, finger grooves and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that, I really like that minimalist handle style and that is definitely what this has going for it so minimalist is a good word to use to describe this knife it's very minimal 
listen, design, not very flashy, just kind of basic G10 handle, one interlock flipper with S35N, right? Nothing crazy to write home about. But when you think about the price point, you think about it's made in the US, you think about that it's essentially a custom knife in a lot of ways, it's a crazy good deal. So 100%, buy one, get on the wait list, check one out for the price, I think. There's no reason not to own one for the price, 185 bucks. It's a, been a great user, I've been using it um, daily for the last week, or 10 days I should say, and it's just been fantastic. Now, my only negatives I give it are the pivot has come loose on me a few times. I've had to just, just tighten that back up from all the flipping I've done with the knife, which when you get a flipper, you fidget a lot with it. Um, but that's easily rectified by Loctite, so no big deal. I just haven't done it because it's a pass around knife. If it was my own knife, I would have Loctite it long ago. The lockup and everything is completely solid on this guy. Back this camera out a little bit. There we go. So the lockup's been really solid. It locks up about 50%, 40%, right around there. It does have some jimping on the liner lock there. I have noticed that pinches a little bit when you're disengaging on your thumb a little bit. Like I said, these are nitpicky small things that um, to me are not not a, a bad thing at all just you know telling it how it is just being 100 honest in the review so i 100 percent recommend buying one of these guys when they come back in stock like i said go on their website now sign up for everyone but then my card one that i want <laughs> just joking uh sign up for notifications get notified when they get them back in stock i know he's got a bunch of materials in and he's working on these again so just cool to see the quick evolution of this model since it's been in the past round group i know we've at least seen, received one updated knife possibly two uh, in that time frame that we've had it, he's been really good about giving this to the group and saying, look, you know, everyone try it out, so what you like, and people will give him some suggestions and he's made some changes. I mean, that's a successful way to, to sell right there, to get a product in the hands of your consumers and if when, it, when they give you feedback and they tell you it needs to be improved, you improve it. And it hasn't changed the pricing for all I know. Uh, for, as far as I'm sure, as far as I know, I don't think it's ever gone up. I could be wrong on that, but. Hopefully it stays in that price point, sub 200 bucks. I think it's worth more for sure, but it would be just great to see a good USA made knife in that price range. Cause you're talking, you know, that's a, that's a pair of two price range. Um, you know, for S35 pair of two, it's about, you know, 150, 160. So it's a little bit more, but you're getting a titanium liner lock and you're getting a, like I said, not a production knife and you're getting a knife that is very, capable of cutting. It's got a great edge geometry. So yeah, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't you know, spend an extra 30 bucks and get one of these over like a pair of two or a Benchmade or one of, you know, some of those other USA made knives. So, all right guys, that's gonna wrap up my video. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And we will see you next time.